And welcome to another exciting episode of Kentucky Brew Review on Still Reserve Special K. And tonight we have a, another Corona product. Hmm. We have Corona Refresca, a Refresca. premium spiked refresher. I don't know what they mean by refresher. Um, I know those carbonated waters have been a thing lately. Yeah. Um, we have had the passion fruit one on the show. Um, I'm just assuming it's like a cross between like a malt beverage and that. Uh, Four point five percent alcohol by volume. This is the uh, coconut lime flavor. I do like me some coconuts. I do too. And you know what they say? You put the lime in the coconut. I do like the uh, slim cans as well. Shake it all up. Um, the slim cans fit better in coolers, honestly. It's because they're slimmer. Yeah, I mean the big ones. Uh, you know, if you think of the shape of a cooler. Especially in our uh, Patriot cooler, but they fit really well. That's the color I would expect it to be. I don't know what you would describe that color as. Uh, <laughs> the color a little... It's like gray-white. Yeah. A light gray-ish. Scent. You get the lime. Yeah, that's it. I'm not really getting much coconut. It's almost sweet. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess we gotta taste it. Yep. I get the coconut. Mm -hmm. It's almost creamy. It's not bad. It's that's almost really. That's that's another sip worthy. I don't know if carbonated works with coconut though. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not bad. That's wrong. I get more coconut than lime, which is weird. You get more lime in the scent, but more coconut in the flavor. It's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, coming from somebody who loves coconut just like you do, this isn't the best coconut beverage I've ever had. No. And like I said, I don't know if the carbonation works with it. Um, it's not what we're used to. It's different. Yeah. But so I, mean, I think that's what's throwing you off of the whole carbonation thing on it. Sweetness helps pretty good on it. It doesn't oh, have yeah. that it's weird not, malt funk on it either. It's not overly sweet either. Mm -hmm. Like it didn't pump in, you know, just a buttload of sweetness to try and counteract that malt flavor mm -hmm. like a lot of companies do. Mm -hmm. Won't name any names. I'm actually not going to name any names. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I bought this in the sampler. I paid like $14 or $15 for uh, 12 a 12 pack of their variety samples, which is a little on the steep size, but not really for these type of beverages if you think about it. Yeah. Uh, and 4.5 percent, you know, a light beer level. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. I think this uh, is. I'm not sold on the. I'm still not sold on the carbonation of the coconut. I think it's. A, I'm gonna give it a five, because it's definitely there's nothing. I, there's something bad about the flavor, in there. I just the two together is not. It's throwing me off a little bit. And then the um, the passion fruit was actually pretty good, that one. So, what do you think, Steel? Um, I'm going to give this a six and a half. Yeah, above average. Pretty good. Yeah. It's different. So, yeah, I can see myself enjoying this on, you know, summer day. Yeah. Well, we have one more to try, the guava. Uh, guava? Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about guava. I can't remember. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had guava as well. Um, would you recommend it? Yeah, you know, why not? You know, if you like coconut, yes. Uh, if you like lime, yes. Mm, you have to like coconut to like this, because if you're not a coconut fan, you're going to hate it. Yeah. I recommend a single. I don't recommend an entire six-pack. Yeah. So. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm still reserved. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.